Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, in edition in English editions from Djibouti channels. Here are the top stories of our editions. Inauguration library and middle school of Biokade. On continental news, res resumptions of Syria and Russian bombing against Idlib. That were our top stories. And welcome back, welcome again if you join us in Djibouti channel. On February uh, to tell, to, uh, to, uh, 2018, the state of Djibouti terminal, uh, the concessions for Dorale Contner Terminal, granted uh, to Dorale uh, Contner Terminal, a company controlled uh, by uh, the military uh, sector of 3.33% uh, th uh, 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 the execution of this concession. concession Contra were seriously uh, prejudicial to uh, the fundamental interests of the Republic of Djibouti, the development imperative of the country, and the control of its most strategic infrastructure. In view of the anticipated end of the concession contra, the poor of Djibouti, the majority shareholders of 66.66% uh, for DCT terminal, the shareholders agreement on 27 July concluded with DP World that this uh, shareholders agreement ceded all power to the military shareholder and transformed the majority into a mere observer. This uh, termination of uh, shareholder agreement was made in the strict respect of the Djibouti law which governs the pact and the status of the company. This decision was obtained by uh, DP World without the knowledge of uh, PDS without the latters having been warned uh, beforehand of the instruction introductions of this uh, procedure and without any adversarial debate taking place also to protect the fundamental interest of the nation protect the legitimate interest of its partner and put the situations of the company uh, the uh, city in line with the reality the Republic of Djibouti according to the order of the President of the Republic the date September 9, 2018, it decided with in immediate effect to nationalize of the PDSA shares and social rights in the city. The uh, representative of the state in the social organize of the society shall be appointed by decree. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, His Excellency Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, shared this morning a gift giving a ceremony granted by the American Civil Society, the Spirit of America. The aim was uh, to straighten the material capacity of uh, libraries, which will then be able to reinforce the English language, which is an international language, and it's uh, gaining more and more important in the country. The ceremony took place in the College of uh, Biocade in the presence of the United States Ambassador to Djibouti, Mr. Larry Andre, and the Secretary General of MINFO, Mr. Abdullah Mahyoub, of the officials of the College, Mr. Abdullah Ahmed, and the officials of uh, the Ministry. In an interview with the U.S. Ambassador Larry Andre, he delivered an important speech on use uselessness of language of and, and their objective to enable libraries at all middle and high schools to equip themselves with the necessary tools to promote the English language in the Republic of Djibouti. Increase youth employment through job skills training. To do this, we collaborate closely with Djibouti's ministries of education and labor. We base our efforts on studies of Djibouti's labor market, identifying the skills in greatest demand among potential employers. English language fluency is among the skills in highest demand today and will remain in high demand in the coming decades as Vision Djibouti 2035 progresses toward full achievement and as Djibouti's role as a vital regional logistics hub continues to expand. 
Chris Barth, the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, has not failed to thank the American Civil Society Spirit of America. He said that the English obviously started in the middle class of education and this kind of uh, donations will only strengthen our library's material in order to promote the English language. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, said that this is also part of the policy launched in advance by uh, the President of the Republic, which consists of the material straightening of our libraries by putting in the different books of the English language. A training workshop on straightening the basic skills of young people so that they can find work and support themselves by starting their own businesses closed at the last Thursday at the Hotel Acasis. This workshop, funded by USAID, lasted for four days. It's part of the activities for the project to employment, employ ability of the Djiboutian workforce aim at uh, internship teacher from the various technical high school and the capital and the regions. This training was provided by Laura Dillion, a training international consultant. This integrated program has been the subject of a long-term fusion effort carried out almost a year ago by a group of teacher and pedagogical advisor. By uh, complementing uh, the content of internship courses implemented in school, this new program will help improve student skills. Indeed, the main objective of this activity is to prove all to prepare young people from technical education and training uh, to the challenges that await them in a professional uh, circles. Uh, training. We learned a lot about pedagogy and, and different strategies for social inclusion and gender uh, equality in teaching and um, I learned a lot and the people here were great and they really reassured me that this program will be able to be put into place. In anticipation of the return of our pilgrims from the holy place of Islam, many families are preparing to get them. Uh, the RCD team, which partly managed to follow the pilgrims' journey, received some impressions. Many were satisfied though, with the quality of the intention and service they have received during their stay in the Holy Land. The pilgrims appreciated the help and thanked the Ministry of Islamic Affairs, Culture, and in particular the work of the mission to carry out this Hajj and Lay by the director of welfare Mr. El Minur Jama and the rest of his team. Uh, they feel happy to have been able to fulfill the fifth pillar of Islam and have asked the uh, Almighty uh, to allow the Islamic uh, nation to restore its straighten and preserve it against all misfortune. The National Project Management United, founded by the Global Fund, held an information workshop on the status of its capacity building and skills transfer plan for the fight against HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. During this meeting, Acting Secretary General Mr. Saleh Abdullahi indicated that the objective of this workshop is part of the finalizations of the transfer of competence plan through the sharing of information related to the activity uh, mentioned. During his presentation, the coordinator of UGP and Mr. Farhan Hussein listed the history of the actions undertaken for the implementation of the capacity, uh, capacity building and transitions plan in accordance with the recommendation of the Global Fund. And now let's move though to the international uh, news, resumptions of Syria and Russian bombing against Idlib. The Russian backed bombing of the Idlib province, the last insurgent stronghold in the northwestern Syria resumed on Sunday after a brief pause killing at least one person on Saturday. Russian fighters plane conducted the most intense uh, strike in a month in view of launching a massive offensive against Idlib, which has been waiting for weeks, according to the observatory. On Sunday, after a pause of a few hours, helicopters from the regime's forces dropped nearly 
14 barrels of explosives on the villages of Hibit in the south of the province. These strikes target a hospital now inoperative, while another hospital infrastructure near the town of Haas, located in the southern sectors of Idlib, was already severely damaged on Saturday by an raid. Fear is immense uh, among uh, residents and medical staff told the in Geneva the head of the health service of the province, Munzer al Khalil, saying fear the most catastrophic crisis of the war in Syria, where more than 350,000 people have perished in seven years of conflict. Since Thursday, hundreds of families have fled the, their localities in the target area of Idlib in the line of fire of the regime, its Russian ally for their proximity to area held by the loyalist forces. Uh, these military escalations came after the failure on Friday of a three-party summit in Tehran that brought together the presence of Turkey, Russia and Iran. Some three million people, half of whom are IDPs, uh, live in Idlib province and the insurgent pocket in the neighboring province of Hama, Aleppo and Latakia. According to the UN, the United Nations says it is fear a new humanitarian catastrophe and the displacement of uh, 800,000 people in cases of assault. We'll finish this news with the military parade in North Korea without a ballistic missile. Despite diplomatic efforts, North Korea has never stopped its nuclear program, according to a UN report. Kim Jong-un's uh, North Korea held uh, a military parade on Sunday in central Pyongyang to celebrate the communist regime's 17th anniversary, but without showing its intercontinental ballistic missiles. Uh, thousands of soldiers, followed by artillery and tank, marched in Pyongyang on Sunday to celebrate the 17th anniversary of North Korea, but the army has not exposed intercontinental ballistic missiles that have earned it multiple international sanction. Two much muscles could have endangered the ongoing diplomatic efforts after Singapore's June meeting in Singapore between U.S. President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, who will hold the, his third summit uh, with South Korea President Moon Jae in Pyongyang mid-September. But according to a UN report, North Korea has never stopped its uh, nuclear program. After a salvo of 21 June's, uh, dozens of infantry unit armored personnel carriers, multiple rocket launcher and carriers marched uh, Kim to sank flying over biplane, forming the number 17 under the guises of Kim Jong-un, grandsons of the founders of North Korea and the cells of the Rallin dynasty. Here we finish uh, the news for tonight. Thank you for watching us. Uh, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.